Oliver, congratulations, but your first words out of your mouth now were, what a grind, did it feel like that today? A big time. Uh, I never really got it going. Uh, made a couple of good putts for birdie. I had a fresh air today, I had some snap hooks, I had everything today. So, you know, the nerves definitely were there and uh, yeah, I'm just happy to pull it through. What got you through the round at the end? I had a couple of good tee shots coming down the last two holes, um, made a great birdie on 17 and I think when I knocked the putt in on 17 I just felt like okay, well now I can relax a little bit. Um, made two, two nice putts on the front nine as well for birdie after I made double. Um, I think that bounce back, that, um, that gave me the initial little bit of a burst and then um, yeah, just the birdie on 17 just got me through. Looks to be a great battle between yourself and Jared. You got really close at one stage. How much were you keeping an eye on what he was doing? Well, you know, I, I, there's no leaderboards out there. There's a one on nine, and so so when you go through nine, you kind of see what's going on. So uh, I was just trying to beat Jared, and uh, he was actually playing unbelievable golf. You know, he uh, could have easily made uh, another three or four. Um, so I got, I think I got lucky that, that his buds didn't go in, but that's, that's how it goes. You know, sometimes they drop, sometimes they don't. And uh, luckily for me this week, they, they dropped for me. Well, you talked to us about conditions today. What was it like out there? It was, uh, it was quite windy at the start. Uh, the wind actually only died down on about 17. Um, but uh, the greens were, I felt like the greens were maybe a, a little bit quicker than they were the, the first three rounds. Um, and that makes it difficult because these greens are like very grainy and, uh, and if you don't you can't give them a good wrap then they kind of as they lose speed they kind of wobble the line so um, with the faster greens it's harder to make putts I think. As far as this victory goes for you it's definitely not your first but victories are always good what does this do for you confidence wise momentum wise for the rest of the season so early on in the campaign as well? Yeah it's unbelievable you know um, I've kind of gotten to a point where I thought well at some stage last year I thought yeah this is it for me I don't know if I'm gonna keep on playing and I was playing terrible and I played challenge two and I played badly and missed cuts and stuff and then all of a sudden I won a tournament at Sun City uh, out of the blue and um, then I had another good showing and my edge come and finished second and then from there on um, you know I, I gave myself chances to do well at Die Data and at Joburg Open so I felt like the game was there. If I could get out my own way, I could I could get get it done. As far as that goes, going forward now, the momentum and the boost you'll take from this. Talk to us about that. Yeah, you know I've got um, Swaziland next week. Uh, love the golf course, uh, so I'm looking forward to going there with a bit of form. Um, then I've got US Open qualifying a little bit later on uh, at Wobe, uh, I think Walton Heath. So um, hopefully I can keep the form going until then, and and maybe you know get a spot into the US Open.